is John Paul Rai. I'm coming from Tokyo, Japan. There's been a lot of talk about Galaxy's Edge. Is it empty? Is it full? Some channels say it's full. Some channels say it's empty. A lot of people who spin my narrative where we're pretty negative about Disney Star Wars would like to think it's empty. And I haven't been there. I have a feeling it's not doing as good as they would hope. It's not doing as good as it should without the original trilogy characters. But I don't know for sure. I've, I've never been there, so I can't say. However, my friend Alex sent his daughter there. Alex got some footage of Galaxy's Edge. You won't see it anywhere else. This is our footage of it. And I'm going to show you guys that footage right now. And then I'll talk about it. And then Alex will say a few things about the footage. Let's take a look. So here it is. And this is footage his daughter took. We could get a little idea here. There's going to be a little jump cut because he wants his knees taken out. Okay, let's take a look. This is new. You weren't gonna come here? At least to see it. Is it a ride? Yeah, there's a ride, but I don't know. Alright, so this shot here is pretty telling. Alex will tell you it doesn't look full, it doesn't look crowded, but like I said, it just doesn't really look like it should be doing. You'd expect kind of, not wall-to-wall, -wall, but pretty full crowds. And I think if the stuff was cheaper, and if there was Darth Vader, Luke Skywalker, you know, whoever, there would be a much bigger pull for this thing. And it kind of looks like I imagined, when I heard the news, like it's empty. Um, I was, I don't know, I, I really don't know what to believe. I'm sure some parks are more empty than others. I think there's a few of these things, but just from this footage here, you could see... So-so. Huh. Let's see what Alex has to say. Hey, Geekful here. What's up, John? What's up, everybody? So, yeah, for those of you who don't know, I actually live around 20 minutes away from Disneyland. My daughter, she has a couple friends that work there, and every once in a while, they'll get her in for free. I mean, she still pays them for doing it, but not at the insane price of regular admission ticket. So, last weekend, I asked her, I knew she was going to go, and I asked her if she would please take some pictures so I can kind of get a feel... Uh, it's obviously not a first hand look, but almost like a first hand, right? She's my daughter. I trust her. Uh, so I can get a kind of a, a somewhat first hand or second hand, however you look at it, right? Uh, at how empty or crowded Galaxy's Edge really is. Especially with the rumors about how it's, you know, a ghost town, you know, and all that. So she sent me this pi these pictures um, that show that it's not empty, but not quite crowded either. However, here's the kicker. She went last year, and she goes about every year, right? Especially because we live so close to it. She likes going. She doesn't know this whole trend on YouTube and social media about Galaxy's Edge being a ghost town. She hasn't heard any of that. And the possible connection with the sequel trilogy and how, you know, people are just upset with Disneyland. She doesn't know any of this narrative. She's oblivious to it all. With that in mind, she did not like The Last Jedi. She didn't like it. Okay, she walked out of there also thinking like, that did not feel right. So anyways, so she goes, send me the, gives me these pictures, and she's also, actually, you know, when I asked her, hey, so what, would, what did it feel like? What did the crowd look like to you? And she's telling me that from what she saw, it's just as crowded as any other time, okay? Now, mind you, this is after the reservation period, so take that however you want. Uh, so, I don't know. It's just a weird time right now. Now, it could simply be that it was just that particular day, which was a Saturday, a weekend. Hey, I just want to let you guys in on this, and so that way you guys can make your own opinions. I'm just the messenger. That's what she told me. You know, I don't really have... Uh, I want to go. I'll probably go in a few weeks. You know, I think she has it set up with her, where her friends are going to let me in. And when that time comes, I will definitely take videos make a video on youtube upload it so you guys can get a better feel because um you know i'm gonna be going there of course to enjoy myself but also with the intent of making a youtube video and showing you know how crowded or not it is or how empty it is right or not 
so yeah that, that's it guys i'm just a messenger you guys can make your own opinion so with that i'm signing off geekful here check out my channel peace out anyway that's it like Alex said, he's got a channel, I'll link that below, and we'll probably have more footage for you, and I imagine when he makes his video, he's going to get a much wider range of attractions, more time there, more clear shots, things like that, but I thought this was a cool clip to pass along, just as a little preview of it, so let's do a quick shout out. Shout out goes to Joshua Tika, also known as Taco Cat, he's been giving us some great support, there's a Geeks and Gamers video, check that out too, wow! Shout out to Geeks and Gamers and to Josh. Sorry Josh, just kinda happened. Anyway, click that subscribe button. See you next time.